In the world of professional wrestling, the spotlight can only shine so brightly on a select few. While main event glory may be reserved for a limited number of superstars, history has shown that many incredibly talented individuals often get overlooked. Both WWE and WCW have been home to numerous underrated and underutilized performers who, despite their impressive skills and contributions, never quite reached the heights they deserved. Today, we focus on these underappreciated stars, the wrestlers who deserve more recognition than they received. Let's revisit the careers of 15 such individuals from WWE and WCW, acknowledging their talent and the impact they made on the industry. It's time to give these unsung heroes their due and recognize their contributions to the rich history of professional wrestling. Dean Malenko Dean Malenko, nicknamed the Iceman for his focused intensity, was a master technician in the world of professional wrestling. While his in-ring skills were top-notch, consistently delivering clinics in WCW, particularly in his matches with Rey Mysterio and other cruiserweights, his lack of mic skills and smaller stature prevented him from reaching the top tier in WWE. Ironically, Malenko is actually one of the funniest people you would ever meet in real life, but he was never able to show that side of himself on TV. His feud with Chris Jericho was a highlight of his career, with Jericho's witty and sarcastic personality playing perfectly off of Malenko's serious demeanor. Despite not achieving mainstream superstardom, Malenko, also known as the Man of a Thousand Holds, will always be a favorite among fans who appreciate the art of technical wrestling. Today, he works backstage in AEW, and he's one of the most respected and beloved people among the wrestlers who work there. Molly Holly Molly Holly, who first gained notoriety as Miss Madness alongside Randy Savage in WCW, joined WWE as the on-screen cousin of Crash and Hardcore Holly, but she quickly proved to be much more than just a comedy act. Holly was a remarkably talented wrestler whose impressive in-ring skills, including her Molly-go-round finisher, often went underappreciated. As a heel, she truly shone, channeling a Karen persona that made her instantly dislikable and the perfect foil for fan favorites like Trish Stratus and Victoria. Her ability to generate genuine heat from the crowd was a testament to her talent and commitment to her character. Unfortunately, while she was appreciated by the fans, she was never pushed as a main event level star. Despite her undeniable skills and contributions to the women's division, Molly Holly remains one of the most unheralded members of WWE's roster during that era. Today, Molly continues to contribute to the world of professional wrestling, sharing her expertise and wisdom as a full-time WWE producer. Her influence on the current generation of superstars is a testament to her lasting legacy and her dedication to the industry she helped shape. Rhino Rhino, the final ECW champion before the company's closure, entered WWE with a ferocious intensity and undeniable potential. His early WWE run saw him capture both the Hardcore and United States Championships, leaving a trail of destruction in his wake. However, a devastating neck injury sidelined him for over a year, and upon his return, the momentum he had built seemed to vanish. Despite being the same dominant performer, Rhino found himself relegated to the mid-card, struggling to regain his former prominence. He floundered in uninteresting storylines with only sporadic glimpses of his true potential shining through. This was particularly frustrating given his proven ability on the microphone, which made him a well-rounded talent capable of so much more. After his release in 2005, it took 11 long years for Rhino to return to WWE. He formed a highly entertaining tag team with Heath Slater, but even that success was short-lived, and he soon found himself back in the same mid-card purgatory. Today, Rhino competes in TNA Wrestling, a respected veteran but a reminder of what could have been. His WWE career, though marked by moments of brilliance, ultimately failed to reach the heights it deserved. Whether due to the lingering effects of his injury or simply a lack of faith from management, Rhino's potential was never fully realized in WWE, leaving fans to wonder what might have been if he had been given the opportunity to truly gore his way to the top. Chris Canyon, often dubbed the innovator of offense, truly lived up to that moniker. He was a wrestler ahead of his time, seamlessly blending power, agility, and creativity in a way that set him apart from the pack. Yet, despite his undeniable talent and contributions to the industry, he remains one of the most underappreciated figures in wrestling history. Canyon possessed a rare versatility, effortlessly transitioning from high-flying moves to impactful power maneuvers. 
he could execute a picture-perfect drop kick one moment and a devastating fireman's carry neckbreaker the next, keeping his opponents guessing and captivating the audience. This innovative offense was a hallmark of his style. He was a master of unique and inventive moves, constantly pushing the boundaries of what was possible in the ring. His signature flatliner, a fiery second-rope Samoan drop, is just one example of his ability to create memorable and impactful offense. Beyond his in-ring skills, Canyon was a master of character work. He could portray both intense and comedic characters with equal conviction. Whether he was the menacing Mortis, the flamboyant Champagne Canyon, or the unhinged and unpredictable innovator of offense, he always commanded attention and drew fans into his performances. Canyon also possessed a deep understanding of in-ring psychology. He knew how to tell compelling stories within his matches, building drama and excitement with each move, and expertly weaving captivating narratives throughout his feuds. Despite his talent and charisma, Canyon never quite reached the main event status his abilities warranted. His career was plagued by unfortunate circumstances and missed opportunities, leaving fans to wonder what might have been. However, those who witnessed his innovative offense, his captivating character work, and his dedication to the craft will always remember Chris Canyon as a true innovator and one of the most underappreciated wrestlers of all time. Ricky the Dragon Steamboat, a name synonymous with technical wrestling excellence and captivating storytelling, is often lauded as one of the greatest in-ring performers of all time. Yet despite his undeniable talent and contributions to the industry, his WWE career was marked by a sense of unfulfilled potential, leaving many to believe he was underappreciated by the company. This perception stemmed from a variety of factors, including a clash with Vince McMahon over his request for paternity leave, which led to a premature Intercontinental Championship loss and a subsequent six-month hiatus. This incident effectively derailed his momentum and created friction with the company's top brass. Furthermore, WWE during the late 80s and early 90s often prioritized larger-than-life characters and entertainment value over technical wrestling prowess. This may have hindered Steamboat's ability to reach the main event scene, as his more traditional style didn't always align with the company's focus on flamboyant personalities. Despite his legendary WrestleMania III match against Randy Savage and a series of classic encounters with Ric Flair and the NWA, Steamboat's WWE Championship success was limited. He held the Intercontinental Championship only once and never captured the world title, which contributed to the feeling that he was never truly positioned as a top-tier star in the company. His second WWE run in 1991 was also relatively short-lived and lacked significant storylines or accomplishments, further solidifying the notion that WWE failed to fully capitalize on his talent and popularity. Despite these setbacks, Steamboat's legacy remains strong. His influence on professional wrestling is undeniable, and his matches continue to be studied and admired by fans and wrestlers alike. While his WWE career may not have reached the heights it could have, his contributions to the industry are undeniable, and he will forever be remembered as one of the true greats. Shelton Benjamin, with his explosive athleticism and amateur wrestling pedigree, seemed destined for greatness in WWE. Yet, despite his undeniable talent and captivating in-ring performances, he never quite reached the main event status many believed he deserved. This perception of being underappreciated stems from a combination of factors that hindered his rise to the top. While Benjamin held the Intercontinental and Tag Team Championships, his reigns felt somewhat fleeting and lacked the defining moments that elevate a superstar to legendary status. He was often utilized in mid-card feuds and rarely given the opportunity to showcase his full potential in high-stakes storylines. His incredible athleticism and diverse moveset were sometimes overshadowed by a lack of strong character development, which may have prevented him from connecting with the audience on a deeper level. Furthermore, WWE's ever-shifting landscape and the rise of other prominent stars during his tenure may have inadvertently overshadowed his talents leading to a sense that he was never truly prioritized in the way his abilities warranted. Despite these obstacles, Benjamin remained a consistently impressive performer, wowing audiences with his explosive power, agility, and technical prowess. His matches were often highlights of any show he was on, and he earned the respect of his peers and fans alike. Even though he may not have achieved the level of mainstream recognition that some of his contemporaries enjoyed, Shelton Benjamin's undeniable talent and contributions to the industry solidify his place as one of the most underappreciated wrestlers in WWE history. Benjamin currently wrestles for All Elite Wrestling.
Lance Storm, a name synonymous with technical wrestling excellence, often finds himself absent from conversations about the all-time greats. Yet, his impact on the industry and his in-ring prowess warrant a closer look at why he deserves a place among the most underrated performers in wrestling history. Storm's methodical and crisp style, honed through years of dedication to the craft, made him a master of the fundamentals. Every hold, every move, was executed with precision and purpose, showcasing a deep understanding of wrestling psychology. He could tell a compelling story within the squared circle, captivating audiences with his calculated approach and ability to make even the simplest maneuvers look impactful. Beyond his technical skills, Storm possessed a unique charisma. His deadpan delivery and serious demeanor, often punctuated by subtle humor, created a memorable character that resonated with fans. He could play the arrogant heel with ease, but also had the ability to connect with the audience as a no-nonsense babyface. This versatility allowed him to thrive in various roles and promotions throughout his career, from ECW and WCW to WWE and beyond. Despite achieving championship success in multiple companies, including reigns as Intercontinental US and Tag Team Champion, Storm's legacy extends far beyond titles. He was a consistent performer who elevated his opponents and delivered memorable matches night after night. His influence can be seen in the work of many current wrestlers who prioritize technical wrestling and in-ring storytelling. Lance Storm may be underrated by some, but his contributions to professional wrestling are undeniable. Bam Bam Bigelow was a true anomaly in professional wrestling, a super heavyweight who moved with the grace and agility of a cruiserweight. It was a sight to behold when this 300-pound behemoth launched himself off the top rope, a feat few men his size could even attempt, let alone execute with such fluidity. While Bigelow never held a major title in WWE, his impact was undeniable. He main-evented WrestleMania 11 against NFL legend Lawrence Taylor, leading the football star through a surprisingly entertaining match and skillfully avoiding a potential disaster. This alone speaks volumes about Bigelow's in-ring acumen and ability to adapt. His career, however, wasn't defined by his WWE run. Bigelow was a decorated champion in various promotions, including NWA, WCW, ECW, and New Japan. Interestingly, his only WWE accolade was a Slammy Award for Best Head, a testament to his unique look. As he once revealed in an interview, Bigelow used that good head on his shoulders to leave WWE before the backstage politics of the clique could derail his career. This decision, while perhaps limiting his mainstream recognition, solidified his status as a true wrestling original who prioritized his own terms and carved his own path in the industry. William Regal is a true master of professional wrestling, often overlooked despite his incredible talent and accomplishments. While hardcore fans recognize his brilliance, he hasn't achieved the widespread recognition he deserves. This technical wizard quietly amassed an impressive 16 singles championships across WCW and WWE, yet his name is often absent from discussions about the greatest wrestlers of all time. Regal was a marvel to watch in the ring, possessing a deep understanding of psychology and an innate ability to tell captivating stories through his matches. His promos were equally compelling, delivered with a theatrical flair that added depth and intrigue to his character. A prime example of Regal's in-ring mastery is his match with Bill Goldberg in WCW. Due to miscommunication, Regal was under the impression that he was to have a competitive bout with the rising star, despite Goldberg's limited wrestling skills at the time. Regal, ever the professional, expertly guided the inexperienced Goldberg through the match, making the most of a challenging situation. This performance, often misinterpreted as regal shooting or going off script, showcases his exceptional ability to adapt and elevate his opponents, even under unexpected circumstances. These days, Regal works backstage at WWE, and his expertise is being appreciated by the current generation of wrestlers. Jazz. It's a travesty that Jazz only held the WWE Women's Championship twice during her career. She was a force to be reckoned with, a legitimate tough-as-nails competitor who brought an undeniable intensity to the women's division. Her hard-hitting style and believable offense made her a standout performer, and her battles with Trish Stratus were instrumental in elevating the women's division to new heights. Jazz pushed Trish Stratus to her limits, forcing her to evolve and improve as a wrestler. Their matches were physical and intense, showcasing a level of athleticism and storytelling rarely seen in women's wrestling at the time. 
Jazz's influence on Trish and the division as a whole is undeniable. Despite her limited championship success in WWE, Jazz left an indelible mark on the company. She was a pioneer, a true badass who paved the way for future generations of female wrestlers. Her contributions to pro wrestling should never be forgotten, and she will always be remembered as one of the most underrated performers in WWE history. Goldust The wrestling world was taken by storm when Dustin Rhodes debuted his shockingly androgynous persona, Goldust, during his second stint in WWE. This bold and provocative character injected a dose of pizzazz and unpredictability into the company's programming, captivating audiences and pushing boundaries. But Goldust was far more than just a captivating gimmick. Dustin Rhodes inhabited the character with such commitment and artistry that it became an unforgettable part of WWE history. Beyond the theatrics, he was a highly skilled wrestler, capable of delivering exciting matches and captivating performances. His multiple Intercontinental Championship reigns and his memorable alliance with Booker T are just a few highlights of his illustrious career. Goldust was a true entertainer, a master of both the serious and the comedic. He could make you gasp in awe at his in-ring ability one moment and burst into laughter the next. He was a complete package, a wrestler who could truly do it all. Goldust, a name forever etched in wrestling lore, left an undeniable mark on the industry. He was a pioneer, an artist who dared to be different, and in doing so created something truly special. Fit Finley was a force to be reckoned with in the WWE. His 2005 WWE debut ushered in an era of hard-hitting brawls on SmackDown, where he engaged in brutal battles with the likes of Bobby Lashley, Rey Mysterio, and Matt Hardy. Even with Hornswoggle by his side, Finley was never underestimated. His reputation as a fierce competitor preceded him, and opponents knew they were in for a fight whenever they stepped into the ring with him. For a prime example of Finley at his most ferocious, look no further than his Belfast brawl against JBL at WrestleMania 24. This brutal encounter showcased his brawling prowess and his willingness to push the limits of physicality. Like his fellow countryman William Regal, Finley is often overlooked when discussing the greatest wrestlers of his generation. But true wrestling fans recognize his immense talent and his contributions to the industry. He was a master of his craft, a tough-as-nails brawler who could tell a compelling story in the ring. Finley deserves to be remembered as one of the most underrated WWE wrestlers of all time, a true legend who commanded respect every time he stepped through the ropes. Just a shout of Ariba is all it takes to transport older wrestling fans back to the electrifying days of Tito Santana. A true fan favorite, Santana was a pioneer becoming the first man to ever wrestle and win a match at WrestleMania. His exciting, high-flying style and underdog spirit resonated with audiences, solidifying his place as a beloved figure in WWE history. Santana's career was marked by memorable feuds and partnerships. He faced off against legends like Shawn Michaels, Don Morocco, and Greg the Hammer Valentine, always delivering captivating performances. His tag team with Rick Martel's Strike Force created even more classic moments, showcasing his versatility and ability to thrive in different roles. Despite his impressive resume and undeniable impact on the wrestling world, Tito Santana remains one of the most underrated superstars of all time. He deserves far greater recognition for his longevity, his in-ring skills, and his contributions to making professional wrestling the global phenomenon it is today. It's time to give Tito Santana the appreciation he rightfully deserves. D'Lo Brown, the man who popularized the head bobble and the high-flying frog splash, was more than just a charismatic showman. He was a highly skilled wrestler who often gets overlooked when discussing the greats of the Attitude Era. Diehard fans, however, recognize him as a true gem of that period. From his impactful run as a member of the Nation of Domination to his entertaining chest protector gimmick, D'Lo Brown brought a unique blend of intensity and humor to WWE. But beyond the theatrics, he was a talented in-ring performer who delivered consistently strong matches. His reigns as both Intercontinental and European Champion produced a series of underrated classics against opponents like X-Pac Gangrel and Val Venus. Despite his undeniable talent and contributions to the Attitude Era, D'Lo Brown remains criminally underrated by the mainstream wrestling audience. He deserves to be remembered as more than just a memorable character. He was a skilled athlete and a key player in one of WWE's most exciting periods. The early 2000s saw a surge of talented women in WWE, many of whom are finally receiving their due recognition. 
While names like Trish Stratus and Lita often dominate the conversation, Victoria deserves a place among the most skilled and influential performers of that era. This raven-haired powerhouse, who wrestled most of her career with a torn ACL, transformed from one of the Godfather's valets into a true championship contender. Her victory over Trish Stratus at the 2002 Survivor Series marked a turning point in the women's division, showcasing her hard-hitting style and undeniable determination. Victoria's versatility was a key strength. She excelled as both a brawler and a technician, seamlessly transitioning between heel and babyface roles. Whether she was engaged in a brutal slugfest or a technically sound wrestling match, Victoria always delivered. Her adaptability made her an invaluable asset to the women's division. Despite her talent and dedication, WWE never fully capitalized on Victoria's potential. Even as champion, she often played second fiddle to other storylines. Her feud with Trish Stratus focused heavily on elevating Stratus, and her second title reign was overshadowed by the dramatic saga involving Stratus and Lita. Even as a member of Vince's Devils, she struggled to be the focal point. Though Victoria enjoyed a lengthy and successful WWE career, it's hard not to feel that she was underutilized. Her work ethic and resilience, evident in her willingness to compete with a significant injury, make her one of the most underappreciated stars of her time. It's time for Victoria to take her rightful place in the WWE Hall of Fame. Her contributions to women's wrestling deserve to be celebrated, and her legacy should be cemented in pro wrestling history.